Okay, going to be the Pyra. I've not seen the Myra come out from 10 to 10 Ken Men, so going to be exciting to see them piloting the Aegis duo. And then it's going to be on the other side, of course, the signature Tomato Red Kirby skin piloted Wait. by Tomato Smash. Chase BM. Is that not Time I Can? That's the 10 10 to 10 10. It, are you sure? No, it's Chase BM. <laughs> Then we got that completely wrong. I guess that's the theme of this knockdown is just getting names all mixed Honestly, up. Honestly, <laughs> I'm down for it because we also have Tomato Smash on blue side and we just call Tomato Smash Chase BM. <laughs> well, getting into okay. it though. Forward throw. What's the best one in the game for the curbs? One thing you have to know about Tomato Smash is that his combos are unreal with the Kirby. I've seen this kid at multiple tournaments and, you know, if he gets one string going, He's taking it to the bank. The hurt box shifting as well with the, the pancaking, like, does a really good job at knowing what kind of moves in, in particular matchups can get away with really getting it under. Speaking of getting it under, you do not want to find yourself under that huge sword that the Pyra has, those down airs. So punishing for the vertical recoveries. Yeah, I and honestly, I can imagine this being a really tough matchup. First off, you're a super lightweight as Kirby. Second, you're a brawler. So yeah. this sword is going to be a... a I guess a thorn in your side. And then like your copy ability is not really giving you any love. It's not like you're, you know, getting a wolf blaster. You're just you're getting some some things that they basically have the same tools of and don't really put you in any advantage. But what a great job there. The bottom of the foot oh, wow. connecting and actually going to be able to get the kill here for stock number one. Going the way of Tomato Smash, smashing it out. Oh boy, we're gonna have to watch out. Even the that blade edge. Oh, goes for the grab, still living, but just barely 145 for Kirby, and that is going to be the landing cover by Chase Mia. You know what it is? I think Tomato Smash has used Rock way more. It's all about, you know, if everybody I've ever seen play Kirby, they just press down B all game. But it's <laughs> gotta be the hacks. Oh, all right, Rain Punishment coming out. We got a lot of neutral from Chase BM right now because he knows, he understands what Tomato Smash is capable of. He doesn't want to get grabbed. He doesn't want to get tilted. So right now he's floating like a butterfly, just avoiding hitboxes. But Tomato Smash is trying to get any type of hit that he can. Great job there. At least getting a little bit of them down tilt. I mean, they're not really doing That's an F tilt. That's an F tilt. Down tilt be all scoopy and slangy. The frame data. It's just going to be so much posturing here between the two until oh. somebody gets in. And speaking of in, is Tomato Smash trying to get hey. the win. And that's exactly what Chase BM was trying to avoid is that quick 70%. Ooh. But the Pyra, honestly, just stay Pyra. Yeah. I mean, Tomato Smash is having such a hard time getting in whenever this character is in play. He also has to look out for that projectile, but he's holding his shield, holding his ground. I feel like that up special as well for the Pyra could just be so explosive that Dominic's from guard or something. I'm not sure what the what she yelling at me. Oh, the prom says, prominence revolt. Oh yeah, that's what she's saying. Lord yeah. Dominic's regard from League of Legends. Dominic's regard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an armor penetrating move for real, and I think it, it occupies a lot of the space Tomatoes Bash has to approach from, and it's quick. Be interested to see if that comes out into play, but right now we're back on the mic on the Mithra. Kind of tough, but that border is going to come through. And the tilt, that's it. There's no jump on the side of Chase Beam. So now we're last stock of Beast. Tomato Smash does have an opportunity to bring this one back. However, he's going to have to be careful in the neutral for things like that. You know, sometimes he's a little proactive, pressing buttons kind of early. Patience can take him a long way, but right now he's going to get this punish and watch. Oh, tries to drill down. That could have been the game right there. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Tomato Smash goes for it. Oh, but speaking of smashing, that's going to be a huge... Ah! And then no! running it back down air over the ledge. Chase BM taking game one. I'm sure the Tan Man Ken is watching this like, bro, that's me up there. <laughs> that's little bro. But what a game. I mean, that was so back and forth. Throughout the whole thing, you really never had a, a one-sided game up until the last few moments where Chase BM just started getting read after read. And now, Tomato Smash, he's going to have to go through his options here. 
Yeah, and at the end of the day, you're, you're Kirby, so it's not like you really have the most options. It's really about being able to outplay your opponent, you know? It's, yeah. Oh my god. It's going to be about fundamentally figuring out what Chase BM is winning at, and at the end of the day, a little bit of a character diff. I'm not gonna lie, you know, there always is a chance to win with every character. Right. But when you're getting Fighter Pass 2 into your Nintendo 64. It's, it's an uphill battle, for sure. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a tough one. But I mean, like, when you're a young gun like Tomato Smash, like, you're you're built for these challenges. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it's all about, learning how to win your 80-20s. <laughs> Forward air to bear, we're doing the fair bear. We got the down air. And still so much pressure being put on at this ledge. The pirate is out to kind of get the works put on her as well. And Tomato Damn. Smash with the spacing of the century off to an explosive start. You love to see that F Smash. And speaking of F Smash, Chase BM going for one of their own. Not going to be able to connect that one quite yet, though. Going to be 0% thus far. And we're seeing some huge smash attacks coming out in this game number two. I mean, it's Smashville, so it's just the nature of the map, exactly. I assume. Exactly. Fourth row, back to the Pyra. Now let's see what kind of space we can get here. Now this is really difficult, because Fatal Smash does have that giant sword to deal with, but Chase Beam also has yet to take the stock, so he's just gonna have to throw out these aerials, demonstrate some mastery of spacing, and he does just that with an F tilt, making things two stocks of base. I'm tilted at the fact that F tilt just slayed my boy Tomato Smash like that. <laughs> Roast that tomato. Oh my! The flame is oh, the big Yo. Yo, hold on! Yo. My man, uh. he's been in the lap. Like, these little hits, like, this is like a combo starter from just footsies. Look at this. A little bit of foot. It's like Kirby. A little bit of hand. K Kirby has, like, set knockback. Well, not set knockback, but just very low knockback growth on a lot of his moves, so he's able to combo at these mid percents. And right there, just converting into a death. Tomato Smash off to a great game so far. And then hitting the zone. Oh boy. Forward air is going to be the okay. foresight to come out. So that Chase BM can try to stifle some of this momentum. Yeah. Tomato Smash is built up, but in general, oh, no. Tomato is in his bag. Tomato is looking to smash, but not going to be provided that opportunity. Going to be a great job here by Chase BM. Oh. Stabilized for the time being, taking him up. And the Pyro's out to rock. No punish from Chase BM. That was everything right there. That was actually so unsafe from Tomato Smash. But he lives. Gets Double the trip. What are the options? Double down till no trip is so sad. Unlucky. Honestly, unlucky. It, it's, it sucks even worse when you trip into the non trip down till. <laughs> oh, was that? So the yeah, first one exactly, did trip? The first one did trip. Oh, yeah. yikes. But now, I mean, this would be an even game if it weren't for Tomato Smash being up a stock. So this potentially could be a game three that we're looking at. We're holding the shield. What's the option? Up tilt. The Nair. Oh, that, yeah, that could be it. Oh, wow. It is definitely it. That's Tomato bringing the thing back to 1 1. Tomato fans in the building going crazy. Okay, that spacing was superb, though, because that side B is actually so tricky to hit. Mm -hmm. And now he's just trying to avoid heart failure. <laughs> yeah, somebody get that man a banana. <laughs> some potassium from vitamin hey, K. Yo. Anywhere. We do have a medic on deck in case Tomato Smash hits the deck. Yep, Dr. Mario is somewhere in the building. Keep a close eye on this game right here because honestly, it could go either way. Maybe the BM in Chase stands for Bachelor in Medicine. <laughs> and he's going to actually be the one to provide the aid to Tomato Smash. Yeah, but he's also going to be the reason that he needs it. So it's like... <laughs> Some, I guess he has his work cut out for Sometimes him. you're the ailment and the cure. Find that person, you're the ailment and the cure the for yin chat. The yin and yang. A matchup made in heaven. And speaking of that, we have a game three on our hands. Same matchup, PS2. Let's get it. This is where we got to see Chase not being BM. Taking home the taking home the win game one well mannered. He's, he's doing it for the tan man cat. The tan oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the down tilt. The Kirby, does Kirby have like sword feet? Like he's actually out spacing a sword character. That's actually insane. With boxing tools. That's very unlikely to see a brawler do, but Tomato Smash is understanding his zone so well and Chase BM, he has to find a response. Kirby out spacing a swordy with the Mickey Mouse feet. <laughs> Got on his Toontowns. The, the Sora 2000, bro. <laughs> his Sora 2.0s. <laughs> Sora 7. Yeah. Oh, those would go crazy. What? 
Speaking of going crazy, Got on the goof moving over oh to the Pyra might have been the mistake here. Oh, that's the downer. That's, that's a free death. And already so much momentum on the side of Tomato Smash, taking that stock in the first minute of the game. So Looking now, at the flaming edge. You know, I, I like what we saw from Tomato Smash as well, because the first couple of games, I think that he was holding forward a little too much, running into a lot of attacks. But right now, he's actually demonstrating patience, which I think is very rare for a lot of the younger players to do, is stop holding forward for once. But look at the movement. Not engaging. Disengaging is such a good skill to know. Yeah. When, when will my opponent let my, let me have the opportunity to just beat them up for making a huge error? And sometimes you don't even have to be the one to force them to make the mistake. Or they're playing better responding to you. So oh, to put somebody into that situation. But unfortunately for Tomato Smash, he's putting the situation up 2-2 on the stock. Yeah, and Chase B keeping things close here. Not letting the lead escape him too much. But he's going to need a little bit more because so far it's kind of looking rough. Tomato Smash demonstrating so much control these past couple of games. Great spacing on that pair. Oh Not gonna God. be able to be punished. Runs up. It's a little river dance <laughs> on the face of the My Mithra. I always want to call her Mithra. Close enough. I don't know. Is it? I just say Mithra or Myra for short. You know. Yeah, I, I see the I see the oh. Myra's live, but that's my grandma's name. So. Oh, true. I it, mean, some people just call her Aegis based off the canon. Well, the sword is the Aegis, right? The, uh, so, the sword know. that they wield in tandem is is the Aegis. I've, I've never played the game. I think Virtual Smash would be able to tell us. But as of right now, Aussie, this is all you, bro. <laughs> I haven't played the game. But either way, we're off to an extremely even game, and the pace of it has slowed down tremendously. Yeah, definitely these two being very respectful here in game number three. That's why we're getting a chance to make silly talk. Oh! But, whoa! That was a misplay from Cha uh, from Tomato Smash. Actually, uh, originally a misplay from Chase, but he actually ends up getting the up B, and that was huge because it ends up killing it. I don't think Tomato Smash is ready to DI that. That move is the most fighter pass too of the experience. I feel like it, it's very quick. It, I mean, it's, it, it's it hits like it's, it's like a truck. It's super punishable. I just feel like Tomato Smash wasn't ready for it. So right it when it comes out of nowhere, it, it's it's it hits like a truck though. And oh you yeah, have to for see sure. It. Like, like you said, it wasn't used to its most efficiency, but it still ends up getting the kill, with, the kill. With, with its mistake. So great stuff, though, by Chase BM to now sit on the front foot here. For Possibly sure. be able oh. to bring this thing home, but that's going to be Tomato Smash. There's definitely a bit of randomness in Smash sometimes, you know. Certain things just happen you don't really expect. But right now, Chase BM trying to put on as much percent yep. as he can before he loses the stock. And right now, we are one stock apiece. Make some noise for this game three. Crowd loves it. Casters love it. I know that we are in for a treat no matter who wins. It's losers round two, and the games are closer than they've ever been. Oh. We're going to see Chase with the opportunity here to get some work done. But Anair oh my stifles God. that first offensive opportunity. Going to be now a forward throw, oh and that's no. exactly Hold where on. Tomato Smash loves to operate out of. Big shift in momentum could be happening. But these aerials are hitting there, chunking away the life force of Tomato Smash. He doesn't have much time. Something's going to have to happen quick, oh. but we cannot panic. Yeah, a little bit of oh, lack of no spacing. Jump. There's no jump. No jump. No jump. Oh my God. And Tomato Smash steals the game from Chase BM in winner's round two. And just like that, that's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. It's so unexpected. And start going up there and saying, like, I'm going to free y'all up. You keep going. I'll see you when Brack. No, I'm just kidding. He's, he's <laughs> oh, okay. Never else? mind. Maybe, maybe he actually was saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> L City Star coming up, adding insults, injuries, salt, sprinkling on some some salt like Salt Bay.